You wanted to see me? I was thinking of what you said to me, when we were both lost in the withering. I'm sorry if I was out of line. You're so important to the Foundation, I... I just wanted you to come back. And I did come back. Eric, you did what you had to do to pull me out of my darkness. I've sworn my life to the Foundation and its people. I was failing them. I needed to hear it. But beyond your words, your spirit is what truly brought me back. What do you mean? You're a survivor, Eric. I only knew about the steel mill. I had no idea you'd suffered through so much when you came to this country. I've suffered too. My father was murdered right in front of me. Someone shot him in the chest, mistaking him for a thief who had just robbed a bodega. I didn't know. Not many do. I only share it with people I trust. He bled out on the street. There was nothing I could do to save him. I couldn't save my mother either. I felt so powerless. You were just a child. I promised my father I would protect her. And I couldn't. Now I feel like I'm failing all over again with faith. You tried your best to find her. It wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. That's not true. Remember what Paul Radcliffe said. Our deepest pains one day turn into our strongest armor. Eric, what we went through made you a strong healer. I know you originally joined the Foundation because of Rachel, but she doesn't see your light like I do. Don't get me wrong. She's a fine member of the Foundation, but she's not a healer like you are. When it comes to the Foundation, I need you to put your faith in me. I need to know that you're committed to helping me stop the withering over everything else. I'm sorry, Xavier, but the only reason I'm here is to find faith. Eric, you have to face the possibility that the withering took her, but you can help other families. No, not until I save mine. I saved you from the withering, didn't I? Then I can save her too. Xavier. You're needed in the library. I'll be right there. you did back there. What are you doing here? I... I can't find my daughter. Wait. You lost your child too? I've searched everywhere. And now you're here looking for her? I... I think I'm being punished. For what? Oh God. My baby's out there with that thing. Listen. I lost my son. It's been weeks, but I'm not giving up, and you shouldn't either. Maybe we can help each other. What's her name? Your daughter. Rachel. 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 What's going on in here? Wait, where did she go? Is she here? Who? Faith? You know she's not- No! The woman! I- I just saw her and... Faith is still out there. And I think this is bigger than just our family. Just slow down for a second. Who is this woman? What did she say to you? Let me help you. You can't help me, Eric.
Who's that? A friend of yours? I'm Detective Sandberg. I work... Detective Halgen was my partner. I'm not sure what you want to interrogate me about. I mean, I already turned myself in. I'm not here to interrogate you. New information has come to light and you are no longer a suspect in your son's disappearance. Thank God. What did you find out? I'm not at liberty to talk about it. You said Haugen was your partner. Where is she? I can't discuss all the details, but let's just say we discovered something in your case that caused the department to suspend her. Why? You'll have to ask her. In the meantime, you're free to go. <laughs>